Okay, let's take this uh, off-road prepared Land Rover Discovery 200 TDI for a spin. One lights come up. Starts beautifully. Turn the radio down. That's it. Um, I've just done 22 miles on this. I've got about another another 20 to go. I have to say, uh, it's driven at least as well as, probably if not better, than, than many other discoveries I've driven, newer ones, older ones, or whatever. Uh, the history is fantastic on this one, and um, it shows that the previous owner spent uh, an awful lot of money on it one way or another mechanically, um, and that shows up in the way it drives. It's absolutely superb. Anyway, um, yeah, starts on the button, no misfiring, hesitancy or overheating, even though it's a really hot day today, temperature gauge sits uh, just on the halfway point. Really nice engine on it, um, not smoky. Um, showing 146,000 miles, haven't been through the history yet to confirm, uh, so I can't confirm at the minute whether that's genuine or not, I suspect it probably is, but I um, can't confirm it as we speak. Um, clutch is fine on it, gearbox is absolutely spot on. Um, there's no sort of synchro problems or whining from the box. Um, the whole drivetrain feels really, really solid on this one. As I say, it's not wallowing around or doing anything. It's it's, uh, it's a testament, as I say, to, to, to the money that's been spent on it, I think. It's really rather good. Brakes are nice on it, feels quite sharp under braking. As I say, there's no slop in the drivetrain or backlash or anything. Really very good indeed. Tracks nice and straight, because there's a nasty camber on this road. Let's try it again when it's, the camber's gone a bit. Yep, tracks nice and straight. Internal specification here, it's got um, remote alarm central locking, um, it's got uh, electric windows all round, it's got an aftermarket radio CD system, um, electric mirrors, that's really about your lot. It hasn't got sunroofs or anything, which is no bad thing on these because they always leak. All the instruments are all working properly, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, rev counter, speedo. As I say, it seems to be far from one of the uh, some of the horrors that you can find at this age of mileage, which uh, feel as if they've um, been halfway around the world and back. This one feels really, really solid. Somebody's going to be getting a nice one. Um, okay, that's probably about it, because I can't think of a lot else to say. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353, or in the office on 0118 946 3352, if you've got any uh, queries or issues with regard to this um, Discovery 200 TDI. I think it's a 94 model, it's one of the last ones. End.